Welcome back to the recording studio. Welcome back to the recording studio. Welcome to Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill. So I have played a lot of this game, but I'm restarting. Okay. I have I have never heard of this game before. Boot up sequence ready. I've never heard of this game before. I've never even seen it. Oh, uh, you're gonna love it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm already I'm already hooked. It's just making me go through the, uh... We're gonna just keep current. Annex. Error. Calibration complete. Primary settings are updated. What is it? It's like an ice cream truck in the background. That's the, uh, it's just the loop of the beginning of the game. It's it the sounds audio. like an ice cream truck. Current objective, find a weapon. Mankind is dead. Blood is fuel. Hell is full. Sounds inviting. Oh, wow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck that board. Fuck that board. Oh, alright. What is happening? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this game is nuts. You're like already like you're going so fast. Jesus. Yeah, I've played this game a bit. I've obviously. <laughs> my sensitivity, my sensitivity is a bit high. I didn't even know what just happened. All I saw you just race through some things and fuck some people up, and then, and then, and then now we're here. Okay. There we go. New blood presents. What does it present? A talkie. Oh. Ugh. Vent simulator. <laughs> I, I went in a fucking circle. <laughs> Going back. <laughs> Going back. Whoa, what the fuck did you just do? I have a slide. Wow, that's what that is? Ooh. Okay, so I have all my gear. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shoot him, Devin! Shoot him! Kill him dead! Whoa, what the fuck are those? Those are just the, uh... Average villains. <laughs> oh, that's just Frank. Don't mind him. I just don't mind them. But yeah, you see my health is at 70%, you know, at yeah. 70? Yeah. So, if I kill things really close to me, I heal if I'm splashed by their blood. Really? Yeah, this game is nuts. This game supports splash damage. Jesus Christ, this is a quick moving game. It is. And like I said, it's it, like kind of like Doom. It, it looks like Doom in a way. I mean, it was it was inspired off of like Quake I'm and I'm Doom. I'm gonna sneeze. You. Bless you. I sneezed. Thank you. <laughs> Is that glass? Yeah, I can shoot the glass out from underneath them. But that's also my walking platform. The screams like ah. Yeah. Sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. This this game also has like a uh, a zombies like uh, survival basically. And, uh, I played a lot of that. It looks fun. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's only in its beta, believe it or not. Yeah, I saw that was an early, it was an early access. Oh. Yeah, your, your house is low, Devin. <laughs> I blew myself up on accident. Devin. I thought I had yeah. the other shotgun out. Devin, when are you getting the ray gun? I have a ray gun. That's not a ray gun, that's a, that's a dead gun. 
know what those look like? Those look like the Nova Crawlers from Kino. Yeah, they do kinda. I do, I, I do look, it, it looks like, it, it, it looks high, like a high advanced video game, but at the same time it doesn't, you know? Because it, it, it purposely has, like, the polygon, like, graphics of, uh, right. of the N64. You know, right. that was yeah. their design choice. Yeah, this and, looks exactly like Doom 64, if anything. Yeah, because it, it, it looks, it looks fancy because they're, they're trying to make it pixelated. Yeah, and then I like how the blood just doesn't look all that N64-like. No, the blood's like liquidy. I forgot about this. Oh fuck, I hate this guy. Whoa. So these things what? are still an issue for me. Even though I've uh I've uh I've beaten what's out of this game more than once. Jesus. Oh you got it, Devin, you got it. Ah oh, you got it. You and this is the end of the level, and then you just woo! And here's the stats. So this game is a lot of fun. Um, B. Yeah. A. Nice. And then it drops me into the next level. That's actually kind of dope. I like this game. Yeah, this game is a this. lot of fun. If you play it, we should do it. Uh, we should do a play of me in control, and then if you get it later, then you get a one in control. But I have all the weapons that are out right now unlocked. Because, oh, really? yeah, because I've played this game. Mm. Holy shit, dude. I'm just equipping everything. I like your little, your little fingers. Actually, I can change arm. This is from a uh, boss fight. If I press G, now my arm is, uh, is the original. By the way, yeah, I'm a robot. All humans are dead. Blood is fuel. Yeah, well, Hell is yeah, full. I was, say, I was say the. I read that all humans are dead part. That's, yeah, that's the red one. If I hold it down, I create a shockwave, like oh, that. Really cool. And with the blue one, I can punch projectiles back to the to the sender. Oh, so like different punches? Do you have like different abilities? Yes. That's I like that. And uh, the ro the revolver I'm using right now is actually a special revolver. Uh huh. <laughs> uh yeah. So I'm using the heavy revolver, which I unlocked through uh, gratuitously going through and finding secrets. Huh. Oh, okay. So you can like it's it's like a type of game where you have to look around for secret shit. Yeah, and it's got secret rooms and shit. Oh, I'm into that. I'm all about like the adventure. Like, I, I think I won't show you any of the secrets, and then we'll go through and do them in your playthrough. If you okay. decide to get this game. Is it, is it, okay, how much is it? I think it's like 20 bucks, at 20 best. Bucks, okay. Might be, might be a little bit while until I get it, but. I yeah, know. So, like I said, one of those secrets is right here, where you get to see this guy Whoa. kill this room of enemies. And you're like, oh, cool, a, a yellow robot man. He's cool. He's my friend. He's killing our the enemies that I'm kill that I'm killing, right? Right. But well, not really. Cause he's, he's gonna fuck you up, isn't he? And well, he's actually the secret encounter of this first level. Uh, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's definitely interesting. Like how fast you move around. Yeah, you have to get really good at moving because there's a lot of enemies that can kill you really fast if you're just not good at moving. Oh god, what does it remind? It reminds me of um, Bloodborne in a way because like Bloodborne's all about getting aggressive and, and you know in combat. And then you can so see like this man's run through his way, and then oh, you yeah. get to go to the room that he was in and just see all the destruction that he had, that he had created, but. He, you know. he didn't even bother to clean up. No, no. Kind what? of, kind of gross and rude. A little bit rude. And there's wow. where I was watching from. Jesus Christ, dude! You fucking just rip dick. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's one of the secrets I forget. 
forget how I got up there when I did it. I think I stood on this motherfucker here. Because you can only wall jump so many times. Right. Limited wall jump. Yeah. Huh. So I'm pretty sure I just stood up here and then went... Then I can punch the skull and grab the skull. And then I take it back over here. Yeah, it produces light as well. Then oh, nice. punch the pedestal, and this door opens, leaving leading a secret. I'm not going through there. Oh, there he is again. The revolver has like really cool aspects to it too. Yeah, such as killing enemies, that's pretty neat. I can flick this coin, and if I can shoot the coin out of the air, it immediately redirects to an enemy and does a critical hit. Huh. Yeah, I saw you do that earlier. That's kinda cool. So, like, in a game like this, where a lot of the time is spent running away from being hit, and you don't really have right. the time to turn and shoot enemies, you know? Okay, where is it? I'm, in, I'm into this, I'm into this. Yeah, it's a really cool game. So, there is a secret door around here. I forget exactly where it is. Ding. Yeah, my phone went off. Ding, is, it, is it over here? It doesn't look very secret. It looks like it's death. It is death. Okay, I know over here is this. And then... There, okay. So there is a secret room that scares the ever-loving shit out of me. Okay. Because it is all basically pitch black. All of your weapons, it, most of your weapons get taken away, except for the revolver. Uh -huh. Um, and you're being hunted down by something that can't you can't kill. Huh. Okay. Yeah. It's nuts. Okay. Well, I'm not too. I'm not too worried about trying to find the secret, and do the secret, unless you really want me to. Nah, I don't really want you to. Oh, I found it. Oh, there it is. And it opens up this door. Uh -huh. And it opens up this door, which is a boss fight. Oh. What's the secret boss? Yeah. Get him. Kill him. Kill him dead. I'm gonna call this guy in game violent Minecraft. See, this guy wouldn't be nearly as hard as he is if he wasn't in this enclosed fucking space. Right. But yeah, no, this game gets insanely difficult. Like, to the point where the final boss fight is a fucking wow. joke. It's a fucking joke how hard it is. <laughs> well, I'm used to hard games like that. I mean, I play Bloodborne Dark Souls all the time, so I mean... I'm used to bullshit. Wait, he's got a second form? Yeah, where he is. So, in the first form, he has a shotgun. In the second form, yeah. the shotgun falls off, so he uses the sword more. Hard as fuck. Dude, fucking on crack. Got this, Devin. Got this. <laughs> I believe in you. Do it for Taylor. Do it for Narnia. Oh, 
them. Oh, there we go. You underestimate how how hard this actually is. I mean, you underestimate how hard I am right now watching. Like I am just like like just hard as hard as a fucking like, fucking banana. Oh you died. Yeah, wow, I'm... you were so close too. Yeah. What the but fuck? But that's the that's the secret boss fight of this area. I mean, I could definitely try and beat it. You should do it again. I like the like the little yellow streak that he has. Yeah. Like this game is really fun and really cool. Like, you can tell that the developers put a lot of time into this. Oh, yeah. Totally, it, it, like, totally, you can, like, you can tell, like, their inspirations behind it as well. Yeah. Like, you can, it, it, feel, it almost feels like Borderlands mixed with, with Doom. You know, I can see where you're coming from there. With the graphical look? Because it almost looks like a Borderlands type of thing, but, like, but with Doom into it, you know? Yeah. Mm, fucking cherry coke, bro. I would totally slap some, some, some penis for a cherry coke. What do you think? I can talk about cherry coke while you're getting fucked up. Okay, I'm not doing this. Okay. <laughs> Again, this is the first level hidden boss fight. So, to recap, bullshit. Game's hard as fuck. <laughs> but its movement is really cool. The meat grinder. Yeah. Hey, you got a D for Devin. Yep. You got dab, you got dab. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> Get a dab on this level. But yeah, no. So there are a few areas. Like uh, right now we're in chapter one. You know the prologue. Right. But uh, at the end of each chapter is a is a boss fight. Ah, uh, okay. And they, boy, how do they get difficult? We're just watching this. It's like because it goes so fast. Such a fast-paced game. It is a really, really fast-paced game. So it's like it's kind of weird to like make commentary over this because like of how fast-paced it is. It's our old friend. Oh yeah, the guy who butt fucked you last time. Except he's easier in this level for whatever reason. Oh yeah. Oh wow, he's just helped going down way faster. Oh, I did hit him with one of the strongest weapons in the game. No, it's easier because once you get through the first health bar, it doesn't just uh, throw you into the second health bar right away. He runs off, and then you have to fight him again at the end of the level with his second health bar. Oh, okay. I missed the coin. Oh, the coin thing is, kinda, is really cool. But yeah, you can still sneak a bunch of damage in right away. And then you're given the shotgun, which has the ability to shoot grenades. You have like unlimited ammo? Yes. Oh, okay. That's cool. The game I doesn't want you to worry about ammunition constraints. It is more worried about you, you know, surviving. Okay, I respect that. I, they're more about the just the game itself other than, the, you know, just getting yeah. fucking... Bullets and shit. I, I can respect. <coughs> I can respect that. It's more about the fun. Oh. The fun. Yeah. But you know, each level has got like a handful of secrets. 
And some levels lead to secret levels. And those secret levels uh, are scary as shit. They lead to uh, your mom's house. Your mom's house leads to. Uh... This enemy is really cool because his head is actually off centered onto his shoulder, and that's his critical area. Here, my critical area would be. You think so? Yeah. You ever punched someone in the clitoris before? No. Can't say ever, I have. Ever seen a clitoris before? Yes. Okay, what was their full name and address? Rude. Don't let, the, don't let the zombie dudes get you, Devin. They might they might stop you and ask you for your, your time to talk about their lord and savior. And now we're at the end of the level where we have to refight big old boss boy. Oh yeah, he's, he's lost his, the health when you whacked him earlier. Yeah. That's, that's dope. Okay. Oh, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, set you back to all oh, the first level, it just... Okay, let's It sets you back to your last checkpoint. My god, that second phase is a bitch. This game takes a lot of focus. I know, I'm like, I'm like, I can feel in the force how you're just completely immersed into this. Ah, oh, you did it! Well, I think that's gonna do it for this first episode. Yeah. Ultra kill! So next time on CD Let's Play, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking play some more of this. Mm-hmm. See next, you then. Uh, style. Uh, S-Class um, for style. Ass! <laughs>